Hey guys, Heidi Easley here at Texas Art and Soul, and I'm gonna show you a very easy trick on if you make a mistake on any kind of painting, whether it's wood, canvas, whatever, I'm gonna show you a way to remedy it. I can't say that word, remedy? I don't know if that's the right use of that word. Anyway, as you come on, go ahead and tell me hi. I would love to know where you're from. Um, I love seeing where people are from, and then I am going to share with you an easy trick on how to, if you make a mistake, anybody here ever make mistakes? I know I do, I make mistakes all the time. So I'm gonna show you, it's gonna take just a couple of minutes. This is gonna be a very, very short live, um, but I wanna show you how I discovered this quite a while ago. Hello, Mike, how are you? Oh my goodness, we have Mike on today. Can everybody say hi, Mike? He loves that, that's my brother. <laughs> And he's in Waller. That's awesome. Okay, we have Donna from Canada. So cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm, again, all I'm doing on this one is just showing you an easy trick to fix a mistake. So we have some black paint. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Lori. Um, we have some black paint here, and we're just going to basically cover this. And then this is a trick that I discovered whenever I, oh, we got Tracy saying hello to Mike. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha saying hi to Mike. <laughs> y'all, he gets a kick out of it every time. So thank y'all for doing that. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so we have right here just some black paint. So, you know, for those of you that know me, um, for those of you that are new, how many of y'all on here are new to uh, my page, Texas Art and Soul? So if you're new, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so, so much for being here. For those of you that have been watching and are in Paint Party headquarters, I just want to say thank you again for watching. Um, but for those of y'all that don't know my start, I started with um, painting surfboards. That was my first business. We went bankrupt, lost everything, started a surfboard painting business because, you know, why not, right? So we ended up starting this. And I remember that summer I made a mistake and I had a painting and I didn't want to waste a board. So what I did was I had the board on here and we were in the hot Florida sun. So it quickly... Um, and Deb saying hi to Mike. Everybody's still saying hi. <laughs> oh, Mike, I see that comment. I'm gonna screenshot that and put it on a put it in a frame. He says, "My sister's awesome." I will remember that when you're making fun of me. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with a blow dryer really, really quick, and um, just because we're not in the Florida sun, and then I'm gonna show you. For those of you that want to know, I'm gonna show you. Let me know, do y'all wanna know this simple, simple trick to making a background, if you make a mistake, a background usable? So let me know in the comments if you wanna know while I am blow drying this, okay? So I'm gonna hit it with the blow dryer. Oh, I just from Florida. I got stuff flowing everywhere. Okay, so because we, I didn't have the Florida sun, I just hit it quick with a blow dryer. And then this is what I did. You can take any color. You can take, um, yeah, Cheryl says, yes, show me how to fix a mistake. I make mistakes all the freaking time, like all the time. So I'm constantly learning how to paint over stuff. So what I did, because I didn't want to waste the board, is I wanted to have um, some metallic. So you can use any color, but I'm going to be using um, a pewter this pewter color here. And then all I'm gonna do is just quickly brush it on, not too, too much, but just a little bit because I wanted a background. And so I had, basically what I had done is I did a painting, I didn't like it. So I painted the whole thing in black. And then what I did was out, again, out of a mistake. A lot of times our best things happen out of mistakes. I squished up a paper towel and then all I did was I twisted twist and pull, twist and pull. And I did these circles and it's a good little arm workout. I did these circles over and over and over again. And what happened was I ended up having basically a new background that kind of had a textured look to it so that I could start again. So then after I kind of had that going, and again, you can use any color. I just really like having the metallics and those of you that are um that have never used metallics please i beg you go buy metallics it will change your painting life i promise you 
So again, I just take it and you can go like this and you can show more or less. But what happens is you end up with this really cool and um, kind of textured background. And so now from this textured background, I can take this and I can totally like now I can paint my palm trees or whatever, because what I was doing when I do the the surfboards is I would paint a scene and then I would write somebody's name really big on it. So it's just a really cool way and an easy way to have something that maybe you did not love. And um, now that you didn't love it, now you can take it and make it into something you loved. So I hope that this will help you in this simple trick of a paper towel and a little mistake and then turn it into a really cool background that you can use. So let me know in the comments that if you're using metallics and if you are using metallics, what is your favorite? Because how many of y'all know what my favorite metallic is? I mean, pop quiz. We got a pop quiz. How many of y'all know my favorite metallic? Let's see if y'all know. I'm going to give y'all a second because it's not pewter. Although I love this. I love, I love all metallics, but I think some of y'all know which one it is. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to see. We're going to see. It's a pop quiz time. Oh, she says, yep, you got it. 14 karat gold. Everybody's saying gold. Stephanie says gold. Kimberly says gold. Yes. The 14 karat gold is my favorite by far metallic. And here, oh, here's the glorious gold. This is not my favorite, but the 14 karat gold is brighter than this. Oh my gosh, y'all are very good students. Everybody knows the answer. So anyway, um, hopefully you can use this. I just wanted to pop on really quick and do this quick little tip for you. So let me know if you like this if you wanna see more. And then for all of you that are wanting to learn more about a paint party business, make sure to check out some of my blogs. We have been working really hard to do some awesome blogs for you. And it's on texasartandsoul.com. So if you go to texasartandsoul.com and go to my blog section, you're gonna see a ton of stuff. So you'll be able to check out some cool stuff there. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great night and go make some mistakes so you can paint it up and change it. All right, I'll see you soon.